What's up, guys? This is Matty from TSSAthletics.com. I've been asked uh, questions several times, especially over the last couple months, mostly from women. Um, want to know what do I do to get in shape? How do I train? Um, I'm a new mother, got a new baby. I don't have a lot of time to do things. Well, here's the thing: you either make time or you don't make time, and uh, your results are going to show for it. Um, there's a big difference between the way I train and and a lot of other people train and uh, you know crossfitters get it athletes get it they know that um, main movements squatting deadlifting pressing uh, the, the the basics of uh, power lifting and Olympic lifting um, and their derivatives strongman training these things produce insane results so of course you know there's going to be a bit of bodybuilding in there as well um, but whether you're a woman or a man you know lots of uh, you know snatch variations clean and jerk variations uh, using different tools when appropriate I mean you can mix sandbags in kettlebells barbells if they're appropriate I don't put people on the barbell right away I teach them how to use their body first I teach them how to use tools that are going to be more appropriate for their goals first here we have Sarah you know she's in her 40s she has kids she's you know a mother of a mother and a wife she has a lot going on full-time job and she still makes time to get in and train a few times a week and she learns things that are a little bit unconventional you know she's doing double kettlebell snatches and, and uh, clean and jerks or presses and uh, you know it's it's great stuff these things really improve your your athleticism and your usefulness and Jackie here she loves Olympic lifting and uh, she has the ability to do it she's strong she's capable and she wants to learn which is the most important thing out of anything else is your desire to want to train and and want to you know get better at something it doesn't even matter you know how great the program is if it's not per you know if it's perfect or not you know it's it's how much are you willing to do you know and if you're just going to come in and do some curls and stuff like that that's fine but realize that the results you get are going to be based off of the effort that you put in so uh, you know you're, you're not going to get a whole lot of usefulness out of doing some uh, simple exercises like uh, upright rows and curls and I'm not making fun of anybody that's just you know unfortunately that's the state that a lot of uh, uh, commercial gyms are in you know people still just rely on what uh, exercise equipment what machines are there and when you kind of get out of that paradigm and you focus a little bit more on what you can do with your body how can I move this weight around what's how can I be more efficient and fluid with my movement um, you know there it's it's a beautiful beautiful thing you know you just have to have the desire to want to get in and train we all know that kettlebells are good but most people don't doesn't know what that means well you know you got some primary movements like snatch and clean and jerk and squats and swings especially for new people who uh, don't have a lot of technique if you did nothing but just swing a kettlebell around um, a bunch of times every day you'd be pretty awesome uh, so here's Jackie you know still working on her clean and jerk and um, again it, this might not be the the best thing for any new person coming right into the gym right away but it 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 shows something that you know anything's possible you get in you work hard and like i said crossfitters get it um athletes get it but you know here we are in a commercial gym where the only people doing anything you know really worthwhile and the rest of the people i see in here even with the trainers are just they're just not showing things that are actually going to benefit people down the line the most trainers i see sit people on the machines and they count their reps out for them and it's really sad it, it, it disturbs me so hopefully if you're if you're watching this if you're a woman you know lift weights move your body uh, be athletic be strong be be functional which what, what does functional mean it doesn't mean standing on a ball and doing a bunch of uh, silly balance training it means do things that are going to improve your life it's going to make you stronger which is going to improve you know everything else everything you do in life from a physical standpoint is completely reliant on your strength so make that a priority get stronger realize that getting stronger is going to make you a big you know hulking you know mass of muscle it's going to get you lean sharp toned it's going to in improve um, you you mentally and physically okay so Jackie's finishing up with some pulls here and getting awesome so hopefully you ladies get the point train hard or, you know, be rewarded with, you know, doing stuff like this, which ain't going to help you. Talk soon, guys. This is Maddie. I'm out.